tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Let's get started with animation. Hello, this tutorial covers two things. First of all, blend shape topology. Because of differences in topology, you cannot morph a standard horse into a cat. And I'll demonstrate uh, the process in order to understand it. And the second part is exaggerating blend shapes. And you see the result here, for example, when the ears are very long, uh, because that's not the value 1 which is uh, common to the blend shape, but I exaggerated the whole thing. And I'll show you this kind of hack uh, later in this tutorial. We have um, uh, an, a shading here with an outline. That means that Arnold Toon Shader is at work, but only at the beginning of this uh, brief animation. Right here you see the Toon uh, rim and it goes away and becomes a standard more or less glossy shader. The light source is there's only one light in the scene which is the uh, physical sky in Arnold. It causes some flickering. I don't know where that comes from. You see things happening in, in the ground right now and now it uh, gets a little bit more stable uh, with a beautiful shadow so it's uh, this is one of the things which brought me back to Maya that the that the rendering all of a sudden with Ar Arnold coming in showed such wonderful results basically well uh, the horse which becomes like a camel now uh, and uh, <laughs> with a donkey face is the result of a very fast blend shape um, method and uh, I hope you enjoy this tutorial and we'll start now. Blend shapes are a deformation tool in Maya and they are usually used for blending different kinds of faces into each other from one to another from a, a happy look to a sad look etc that's what all these images here are about. I typed in blend shape Maya and I found these images here. We want to first of all try something out which will fail horribly. Uh, let's go to Windows and Settings Preferences and Preferences. And then we go to the middle here, Settings, and change the working units from centimeters to meters. You don't need to do this, but for our purpose it's really handy because it gives us proper dimensions. And um, when we press the key A now to see all, we see the grid again. It looks basically the same, but now our geometry, which, which we'll import, lands in a decent size. Windows, General Editors and the Content Browser. You find uh, down here the modeling section. In the modeling section you find the sculpting base meshes and here you find animals. And we create a horse by double clicking on it. And then we create a cat. Double click. And when we press F now we see both of them. The cat of course is much smaller than the horse. So if we want to morph the horse into the cat what happens? Let's pick both of them. Go to we're in the modeling section. We have the deformation here, and the top one is the blend shape. Let's go to the settings and reset the settings. What I always like to check here is the in between because it gives us a slider which we can use to do the morph. When we apply this, and it sh tells us no deformable objects selected. That means uh, Maya is not happy with the two different topologies of these two animals. If we uncheck check topology, we get a blend shape which sits here in the attribute editor. If you don't see the attribute editor, 
just use control A. And uh, here we have the horse. And when we do this, we get a blend shape leading from one geometry to the other. And as you see, it totally fails. The polygons just don't move to the proper place. And the reason for this is pretty simple. If you use the right mouse button and check vertex and maybe press B in order to get rid of the soft selection and for example select the top of the ear here this one and then you go to the channel box which is control A again it's this small box here you can click here CVs click to show and we see that it's 655 the one we selected up there is the vertex 655 let's keep that in memory now let's go down to the to the cat and right mouse click vertex and select that ear CV click to show it's I selected two of them it's 667 and not 655 that means the ear of the cat moves somewhere to the to the back of the horse for example now I selected the 655 of the cat where is it press F and you see it's down here it's at the neck so the vertex from the left ear of the horse lands down here at the neck of the cat and that's the reason why these kind of morphs always fail you need to start with one topology and then develop the next one from it so let us delete both animals here and we go again to the content browser and we import the, the horse now we can duplicate this control D and hide the original horse now we can add some deformation right here and then create a blend shape from this right mouse button and then vertex and for example we can extend the ears and now I press the key B which gives me a soft selection so all these areas around the selected control vertices um, are influenced by the motion now when I lift the section up the rest follows just a little bit press B again I deselect the soft modification and I can just move those up here well, let us um, create two bumps here right here and right there and I press B again to get the soft selection I can move these over here currently the I would like to have the influence a little bit less that's B you press and hold B that's for brush because we're basically painting influences now and with the with the B pressed and the left mouse button you can make the selection selection affected range or realm smaller so this is what we get now let's change this Part, make it just a little bit wider with the scaling tool okay right mouse click object mode and now we can unhide the previous horse it sits right here and now we select both of them and create a blend shape deform blend shape and now we can check the topology it should be all right anyway because we developed the camel from the horse and now when you go to the attribute editor control a you see the blend shape right here and you can move the slider from one to another and as you can see we don't need to see that horse here so we can hide it again and just use this for the morph now the values here with this slider go from 0 which is the camel to 1 which is the horse but we can create 
a larger slider range by just typing in another value like 3. And then we get an exaggeration of this. Basically the bumps of the camel move down into the body now. So 3 is uh, breaks the topology. But 1.1 is still OK and it gives us these little bumps here and a very slim top of the nose here. So we can actually uh, set a keyframe here. In order to keyframe the blend shape you need to select it here. Because currently we have the horse selected, we want to select the blend shape. You see the horse now is deselected because the blend shape is selected. And we're at uh, frame number one, so let's press S, which sets a keyframe here. And now we go to frame 55, for example, and we lower this value to zero and even further to, say, minus two. And then we get quite an exaggerated vision of our object. Maybe we can go to minus four, which looks quite interesting. And set another keyframe here. And now the animation goes like this. If you find this too high, for example, but th this one OK, or the other way around, you can uh, paint these values now. It's actually painting blend shape values. So let's select the horse or the camel and right mouse click. And here you see paint. Under paints, the third entry is blend shape. And you have two options, blend the weights and blend the target weights. Let's choose the target weights because this is our target now. And um, when we double click here, we see the tools coming up. It's all in white. And uh, you can see that I can paint here because it shows me this circle. If the circle is too big or too small, press and hold B and with the left mouse button you can make it bigger or smaller. And uh, what I'll do now is I make the this bump here smaller. And when I paint, I paint in white now. That's the value 1. It's already in white. That means it has the total influence of that blend shape. And uh, I want to paint it black now, which is this value here, 0. And this means that the bump goes down. And I don't want to put too much effort in it now. Just use some smoothing. I could have done it better, I, I agree. And with this, I leave you alone now for today. And I wish you a very nice time wherever you are. Bye-bye.